Hi, everyone. Welcome to The Talent Show, where you will meet the people that power T-Tech. I'm Rebecca, and will be your host for today's show. We are so glad you're here. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're coming back again, we are so happy that you're joining us again. And if it's your first time, welcome. Please feel free to drop where you're joining us from in the chat. We would love to meet you. And we're so glad you're here today because we have a really insightful conversation ahead for you. And we're going to have a lot of fun at the same time, too, as we discuss the transformational power of community and connection and getting that spark to live life passionately with today's guest, Javier Blanco, Vice President, Assistant General Counsel here at T-Tech. And we have had such a great month so far. Here in the United States, it's US Women's History Month, International Women's Day, everyone, we're taking it to the next level. We are celebrating all month long. So be sure to check out social for how you can come and help us inspire inclusion. And speaking of that, we've also launched a new employee resource group, T-Tech Familia, and Javier is going to talk a lot more about that with us today. So please feel free to drop questions uh, where you're joining us from in the chat, and we'll be answering along the way. So get ready for an engaging conversation where Javier is really going to help through his origin story, share how you too can unlock your potential in your career and your personal life, and heck, have a lot of fun along the way as well. So without further ado, let's bring Javier on and get this party started. Hello, Javier. Hi, Rebecca. How are you? Hey, good. How are you doing today? Doing swell, just peachy. <laughs> Swell and peachy. I haven't heard those <laughs> words in a while. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And we're loving the plants behind you. Thank who you, uh, who keeps you. those living? Uh, my wife keeps those living uh, because I can't keep anything alive right now. Um, so uh, she tries and sometimes it's successful. Sometimes it's not. Uh, yes, the plant struggle. It is It is real for sure. Hey, just real quick, Javier, in the chat, we've got Bagat from Ohio joining us. Bria, shout out from Denver, Colorado. Thank you so much for joining us today. So Javier, you can introduce yourself better than I ever could. Could you just give us a quick peek into what your role is here at T-Tech, how you got here, and then we'll jump in from there. Sounds good. Uh, I do a little bit of everything. I'm uh, chief counsel of global corporate transactions. So that, that includes anything from M&A, uh, global M&A, global treasury, uh, any sort of partnerships that we have with, uh, with, with vendors, with clients. Um, I also have the chance to, to lead the ESG delivery team. That's our environmental, social and governance um, platform. And uh, I also help out with bankruptcy. I uh, take care of the IP portfolio for the company on a global basis. And I also support procurement, uh, some of the some of the things that I do. So just a little busy. Just a little busy. <laughs> just yeah. a little busy. And uh, such a great story that you were sharing with me earlier about how you got here to T-Tech. So I know that this story is really going to help inspire our listeners here today and people who are tuning into this in the future. So could you jump in and share more really about your origin story, where you came from, how you got here, and, and uh, share a little bit yeah. more? Journey. Absolutely. Uh, thank you for asking. Um, I I started in Central America. I was born in Nicaragua, uh, right in the middle of the revolution. Uh, and I moved to the States when I was nine into, uh, I, I came to the States to Miami. And I was raised in Miami uh, pretty much my entire life, uh, attended the University of Miami, uh, luckily through, through a full scholarship. I started digging around and connecting with people, started a nonprofit in Miami, and I connected with some folks that did, uh, that were involved in the legal side of things, uh, especially on the corporate side of things, because growing up in Miami as an immigrant, you're, you know, with, with basic means, you don't really see a lot of corporate lawyers out there. And uh, I was able to meet somebody uh, who got me interested into doing what I'm doing right now, uh, mainly M&A, international work. Um, I had a chance to apply uh, to the University of Chicago, 
for law school. I uh, was able to get a full scholarship there. And uh, then I moved on to a law firm in, in New York. Uh, I was practicing global project finance at the number one firm in the world for that. Uh, and then I moved down to Miami again to be with my family uh, and started practicing a little bit more of Latin American work, more general corporate work, securities, uh, M&A, um, et cetera, and, and in a, basically in a, in a international setting. After that, I went to a startup, uh, a very fun startup that unfortunately started up uh, and died. Uh, <laughs> and that brought me to Denver, uh, out of all places, uh, through some connections, again, uh, that I had uh, via work, via my prior job as well. And uh, after working at that company, a Fortune 100, I came here to T-Tech and worked under, I'm working now under Margaret, and, and it's a phenomenal, phenomenal team phenomenal work um, and we're excited about the future. I love it. I mean, just listening to your story where you came from, the people that you met along the way that really helped light that fire underneath you so that you could continue to explore um, different career options. I always heard growing up, like you don't know what you don't know. And it's so great right. when you have the people that can really kind of unlock what that future could look like for you. And um, also you had a lot of ownership in it too, to bring you to all of those places. So it's cool to see how you um, brought your connections together and your community together to, to help launch your career and keep, and keep it going uh, as well. Also just wanted to say Priscilla uh, from Sao Paulo is joining us today. We have Las Vegas here as well, Toronto, awesome. Athens, Greece. <laughs> so quite uh, the global uh, crowd here today, Javier. So I love it. I love it. <laughs> I also I also support Latin America uh, and the Americas, which includes Canada. Okay, there we go. So Toronto <laughs> in the house. So I've worked with, <laughs> I've probably worked with, with some of the folks online, hopefully. <laughs> oh, that's great. Thank you so much. As as you talk about um, the, as we said at the top, we launched a new employee resource group, and then you shared that you're leading efforts for the environmental social governance piece. Could you tell us a little bit more? We want to celebrate T Tech Familia. Can you tell us more about the group and about why it was important to you to be an executive sponsor? Yeah, absolutely. I think the the group, when you think of it in a five thousand feet in the air uh, view. It's really about bringing people together. Um, I think the Latino and Hispanic community are very much a community. Uh, and I think the, the word familia is indicative of that. I've, you know, coming from Miami and moving to Denver, leaving my family, my direct family behind, it's, it's, it's hard. It's hard to leave your, your comfort space. You feel so at home when you're with your family. and. We sort of wanted to create that. And when Helen Majub uh, came up to me and told me that this was happening, that she was helping out with the efforts of getting it together, um, I jumped at the chance because it's, uh, it's uh, I think, a one in a lifetime opportunity to be able to be um, an executive sponsor for a group like this as it's starting out. I'd love to set a tone as to how people can connect with each other uh, on a worldwide basis. I think it's uh, also important to note, you know, as a close to 70,000 employee company, uh, we need to create those bonds uh, for the company to run efficiently. I think it's different when you're interacting with somebody via email than when you break bread or see each other uh, on camera and can joke and can, and can feel that camaraderie as a team and as a company. So I, I thought it was an important and, and very, you know, um, timely uh, uh, group, ERG group that, uh, that was needed. And so I, I had to jump at the chance. <laughs> I was very lucky, uh, and honored to be chosen. I love it. It seems like when you mentioned that you launched a nonprofit in college, it seems like it's kind of at the heart of you and, and who you are to make an impact while, you know, being excellent in your career and your professional development too. And like you said, that break bread piece, it's so important. And it is hard to do that when you're just emailing people. So it's great yeah. what you and Helen and the, the rest of the volunteers that are uh, really helping to shape T-Tech Familia recognize that and are coming out with ways that we can make the large company feel really small. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. 
Priscilla has a heart for Familia. <laughs> so thank you, Priscilla, for sharing that. You can tell we, uh, Javier and team have a heart <laughs> for it as well. And we I love it. <laughs> we want to ask the audience a question too. How do you create connections in the workplace? What is it and why is it important to you to create those connections? So we love to share advice. So everyone here, Javier walks away like immediately with what they can do uh, to power up their life or, or their careers as well. And one of the things I can tell about you is you like to live life passionately and that's a, a big value here. <laughs> Here at Two Tech, whether you're training for a marathon or launching a new ERG or doing all the M and A work <laughs> that you're doing behind the scenes, so could you share a little bit more with us about why this uh, value may resonate with you and what each of us can kind of walk away with today on how we can spark that life, living life passionately in our own lives? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, to me, uh, it's everything about every, everything to me is about balance. Um, I wasn't raised in a household where um, you basically had to, you know, be the number one person in, in class or anything like that. It was always very balanced. I did track and field, cross country, basketball, um, all types of sports. And so um, and at the same time, I was also really involved in the social scene. I mean, I was involved in community projects and and everything else that, that that entails, I'd love going to parties. Um, you know, it. And when I, you know, the the turning point for me was actually when I was at a firm where where you basically have to build. You're you're a you're a profit building center um, as a person, and so you're basically just on call, 24 hours a day. I mean, I'm not saying that it's not that way here. Uh, when it's important, I'm certainly there. But it was good training to get here. But uh, throughout my life, like I always wanted to have a balanced life. And so um, learn about everything. Keep sort of a childhood attitude about what you want to learn. I, I always feel that if you're if you're not learning at something, if you're not failing at something, then um, if you're not learning something new, then I don't think you're really pushing yourself uh, and you're not really living life to the fullest. Um, you only have one life. You only have, uh, you know, one mom, one dad, spend time with your parents, spend time with your close friends. And research has shown that the more you build your community around yourself, the more uh, successful you are and the longer you live. So I think it's sort of a good balance about everything. Um, I'm also sort of a strong believer at, at the phrase that success is not where you end up, but where you come from. I think that's the measure of success. And so I think the more that you can connect with people, the more that you can uh, find opportunities for yourself and your family. I think you should take advantage of those opportunities and just always be uncomfortable. Uh, be comfortable with being uncomfortable. And I know that's a cliche, but I think it's worked so far in my life. And sometimes you fail and that's okay. I heard uh, a trainer one time tell me uh, failing is first attempt in learning. Um, and that's, uh, and uh, that's, I think, critical to keep in mind. It's okay to fail. Uh, people succeed and, and people succeed and sometimes you 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 fall back, but that's more of an inspiration to keep moving forward. Javier, there is so much in what you just said uh, <laughs> that we could probably kind of take each piece and dive into it a little bit more. Uh, will you say the fail piece again? It's uh, oh, first yeah. attempt first attempt in learning. I love it. I love it. First attempt yeah. in learning. And then success is not where you end up, but it's where you come from. Those are really great right. yeah. uh, ways to look at it. And I follow the blue zones quite a bit. And you're absolutely right, Javier, like the MOAI and finding your support group is such a critical uh, part of the blueprint for blo bl the blue zones where you can live to be over 100 and, and live That's great. Right. <laughs> and age age well. So yeah. all the things that you're doing um, in your own life and then influencing here at T Tech are really just going to help all of us to to live um, live better lives, both in the workplace and, and outside of it. And Leisha Anderson, I just have to give a shout out, uh, an alumni here at T-Tech. Work and uh, life balance is key, and we are so happy that you joined us today, uh, Leisha, uh, for this conversation as well. Javier, at the beginning of the conversation, you shared all the things that you do here at T-Tech. 
You are an incredibly busy man. We appreciate you taking the time to join us this morning to drop us some uh, some hot topics that we can take back <laughs> into our own life. The fail, I hadn't heard that one before. Follow a lot of professional development, but I hadn't heard uh, that with the acronym before. So thank you so much um, for all that you do here and for joining us today. We appreciate you. Gosh, it's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. And uh, if you if you have a chance, feel free to join us at, in uh, Familia, our new ARG uh, group. And we also uh, just wanted to drop this in. Uh, Bria and the ESG team have also uh, just completed our new impact and sustainability report that's on our website. So feel free to check that out. I think it uh, it's, it's insightful for a lot of things that we're doing on a worldwide basis that not a lot of people have visibility on. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing that part too. So you can head to ttech.com and check out that report. A lot of amazing stories uh, in that report and a lot of um, opportunities and for us to continue our journey with that. And Bria, shout out to you for all your efforts with that report as well and the team behind it. Yes, exactly. Um, and then also, Javier, to your point, join T-Tech Familia. Check out our, if you're with T-Tech, check out our mosaics space to learn more. Uh, all of our ERGs are looking for volunteers. So if you, like Javier, want to dig in and leave an impact, volunteering might be the way to go. So yeah, so thanks, Javier, for dropping those two important points. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. We'll see you soon. I appreciate you. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. Bye. All right. Okay. So we have two hot jobs that we want to share with you today. If you are interested in learning more about T-Tech, please head to ttechjobs.com. And our team will be dropping in the chat these two hot jobs, but they're just re representative of hundreds of jobs that may be in an area near you. So the first one we're going to highlight today is in Leeds in the United Kingdom, and it is as a customer relations case specialist. So if you have, uh, if you're in Leeds or you know someone in Leeds, this is a great opportunity uh, to work in a hybrid position, making a real impact on a very strong brand, uh, global brand, in addition to T-Tech. And if you are in Barranquilla, Colombia, we're also looking for a client success manager. And this is a really fantastic opportunity to be an account management for Fortune 100 customer experience and customer acquisition engagement across our engaged team. Again, these are just two of the hundreds of jobs that we have. So come check out T-Tech Jobs. Head to our About Us tab as well and learn all about our ERGs, uh, our diversity commitment, and how we're fostering inclusion here at T-Tech. I appreciate you all being here today. Thank you so much to Javier for sharing his origin story with us and really showing that if we spark uh, living life passionately, we can pursue our dreams and really the sky is the, the limit. Thanks to you for joining us today, for Doran Smirti, our producers behind the scenes. And if you have missed an episode, don't worry, we've got you. Follow T-Tech on LinkedIn for all of the latest news. We'll see you again in two weeks. Have a great day, everyone.